Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we're starting chapter 7, number sets and Venn diagrams. Now we've talked about number sets before in chapter 1, but this time we're going to do it in a little bit more detail and specifically we're going to focus on more Venn diagrams. Now before that, let's talk about set builder notation. This is going to be a very short video. Basically, I explain to you what the notation is and what it represents. And this is actually from your tests and from your books. So let's look at one of the examples. And this is example two from page 215. And basically, this is a perfect example of a, a number set notation. And it's written as, so this is this is what we have. This is what we're gonna talk about. And let me just quickly analyze it for you and just explain to you what this means. And this is actually what you'll be seeing on the test as well. So you make sure that you know what this says. And let's start with the first part. So this says A is a set. And this is what the brackets are. Um, it, it's a set of all numbers of x, which is where this x comes in. So it's an, a set of all numbers of x. And it's a set number of all x such that, and this is what this line right here means, such that, so I'm just going to write this in red, such that. Then we have an interval here, and this I'm going to write in yellow. Uh, so this is our x, and it's between these numbers. Now, I hope you remember how inequalities work basically this means that our x is uh, low no sorry higher than higher than 3 not including 3 because that's why there's no equality here uh, higher than 3 not including 3 but it is or sorry not but and uh, it is lower than 10 including 10 and then the last part right here tells us what kind of numbers these are. These are, these are and these numbers are, if you remember, the number sets, Z represents what? And Z, of course, represents integers. So th these are basically all integers, and integers are numbers like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, now let's just summarize this so that we can basically say this all together. So here, A is the set of all X such that X is an integer between 3 and 10, including 10. And this is basically how we say this particular thingy right here. Now, you'll probably never have to say it out loud, but you do have to be able to read and analyze and understand it. So in this example, let's actually look at this. Write down the meaning of set builder notation, uh, list the, uh, the elements of set A, find N of A. So let's try to do this together. Let's try to do this example together. And question A is, um, A is a set of all X such that x is an integer between 3 and 10, including 10. And that's the answer to question number A. Uh, chances are you won't really see this on the test, but you still have to be able to, to say it, uh, at least for the, for the time being. List, list all the elements of set A. Now, this you do have to be able to do easily, and this is where we write our set notation. So A equals uh, funny brackets. And now here, 3 is not included, so we don't include 3, but we include the rest. So this is going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. These are integers, so uh, only positive integers because this is what our set right here says. Not No negative integers. And the last question is fine. N of A, if you remember correctly, N represents number, number of numbers inside the set. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer is seven. And this is basically how we do this example. Now, hopefully this was clear. Make sure that you know how to read set builder notations because it's this is what you will be seeing a lot on the test. So you have to know what this means. You have to know how to read the inequalities and you have to understand that this little bar that is kind of covered with a bunch of colors now this little bar right here represents such that this is basically the word such that in other words so that if you if you're confused by such that so that or even simpler when so a is a set of all x when x is an integer between 3 and 10 so you can even write when in here 
uh, if that's easier for you to understand. All right, thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.